Hello, so my dumb teacher made me do an assignment on refugee camps, so that's what I'm here to do. But before we do that, we need to get into some quick history. When the Ottoman Empire lost World War I, it lost all its Middle Eastern territories, leaving it to the Europeans. When the tea and the croissants, or I mean the British and the French, decided to take over these lands, they drew straight lines all over the Middle East, ignoring all ethnicities. When these Middle Eastern colonies gained their independence, there were many ethnicities in these states that wanted their independence. This would cause lots of instability in the Middle East, causing lots of civil wars to happen. The one that affects my assignment is the Syrian civil, which has displaced over 5 million Syrians. And now to talk about the camp. How many refugees will there be? 20,000. Where will this be? In Turkey, Istanbul. How big will the refugee camp be? Well, the UN recommends 45 meters squared per person, so that times 20,000 is 900,000 meters squared, and then we'll add an extra 100,000 meters for um, res non-residential purposes. Who is funding this? The Turkish government, the UN, and other various charities. What is the budget? 50 million USD. What a waste of money. And now to talk about the camp. Here in this image, the orange represents the residential area and the blue represents the facility area. Altogether, the residential area should equal 900,000 meters squared and the facility area equal 100,000 meters square. The areas were separate the way they were so that refugees don't have to walk too far to get to the facility areas to buy the goods and needs they need. The rest of the stuff I'll be showing will only affect the residential area as the facility areas expect to be funded by the UN or private companies. The private companies here are expected to be either making shops or other entertainment stuff so the refugees can feel like they have a normal life. Your hospitals and schools will be funded by the UN as they have the proper standards and resources to fund that stuff. And now to look at the actual huts where the refugees will be living. The UN recommends 3.5 square meters minimum per person for actual housing. However, for colder areas it, it should be up to 4.5 to 5.5 square meters. We'll go with 5, four, five meters square as it's the middle ground between 4.5 and 5.5 and it can get very cold in Istanbul. The record for lowest temperature is minus 16 degrees Celsius. Here's the hot design that I made in some 3D program. I did try to make these for scale but the 3D model is probably more accurate as it had better measurements that were actually into life scale. And I'll just leave the measurements for you to look at. The materials that were used was timber because the UN says use the local construction materials and that's what used in Turkish architecture. Vinyl because it's cheap, waterproof and easy to clean. Epoxy resin will be added on the top to waterproof the roof. Now to get into the logistics of latrines and water taps. According to the International Rescue Committee, the cost of implementation for latrines was $44 per person. So that's the cost we're going to go with. And then for the spacing, the UN recommends keeping at least 6 meters away from each shelter and since each person has 45 meters squared of land, they, then you can space the latrines enough so that it's far enough from the shelter to prevent pests and disease. So each person will be getting one latrine for their own personal use. Then for war taps, the UN recommends placing one every 200 meters. In 200 meters, that's roughly four people so there'll be one war tap for every four people in this camp. The cost of war taps in the Bambasi camp was $95 per person so that times four people would equal $380 per water tap as they have to cover four people. And now onto the final cost of the camp. The huts each cost $541 so that times 20,000 is nearly $11 million. The water taps cost $1.9 million, and all other costs will be covered by the UN. The total cost is $13.6 million. This leaves us with a cost of $36.3 million. 
That's the design of my cat.